I keep forgetting her name. I keep wanting calling her a Dorito. It does get a little bit flimsy on the top when you're trying to push down. Oh. Thing. Oh shit, look at that. Too legit to quit. <laughs> what is up you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Beamus, where I bring you all sorts of wacky stuff. This one, maybe not so wacky. This is actually pretty interesting. Thank you so much for Chris shooting me. And thank you guys for all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, all that good stuff. And let's just jump right into this. What you're seeing here is super kawaii, super cute. So these are from Keyplay, Doraemon, we'll just call them the 2021 collection. K204067 and 8. If you haven't watched my last Doraemon video, go check it out. It's actually pretty cool. It was like an interior room and a time machine. If you're a huge anime fan, this is definitely for you. Go get it. We have it available on our store, brickmeupscotty.com, because I want to get these sets out to you guys. When I see it, I'm like, it's licensed. It's totally legit. Let's run this little time-lapse video, okay? So I told Chris, build the car. I'm going to build this bus. I'm going to time-lapse this sucker. Let's see who's faster. Go! Done. So this is from Kipli, Doraemon's Beetle Car. I think it's a Beetle. K20406. They do not indicate how many pieces are on the set. I think from seeing this, you guys can kind of guess that yourself. Here is the box. Show ya. There. Okay, here's the front. So you guys can kind of get an idea what this looks like. There. Very simple. I actually might be able to squeeze the box in for you guys if you order this from us. Maybe. I'll just fold it up and throw it in your box. This is nice and small. Thank goodness. Some details on the back. Now, as all products do, they kind of get overly excited and like, hey, please have this cool little features here and there. Not really, man. We'll, you'll see when I show you. Here is a tiny, tiny, ever so tiny booklet. There's Doraemon there. Anyway, very easy to read. If you're familiar with Enlighten, Q-Man, these are using enlightened bricks. You'll see the logos on the stud itself. For all three of them, I think I've noticed a couple of new pieces. We'll see if I can pull them apart and show it to you. Okay, so the car, look, rolls just fine. No figures come with this thing. I almost rolled it off the table. Unfortunately, you know, you probably have to buy the other sets if you want the other figures to go with it. If you watch the other videos, you'll know that it does come with figures like this. This is Doraemon from the other older set. For this car, Chris built it. Chris, what do you think? Sturdy, easy, good, simple? Yeah, he's nodding his head. Very simple build. You'll finish this in no time. But there is a little thing that you can rotate here so that it has a little propeller, just like the hat or the, the one that comes out of his head, right? So this car can fly. Ooh. Unfortunately, the doors don't open. Bummer. The top can kind of come off. So you can put your figure inside right there. The cool thing about all three sets, no stickers, all prints. You're gonna buy the set just for that print. Maybe the door handle, or maybe the Doraemon logo right there. Ooh, the back of his car is like his butt. Even has a little red tail right there. So it is a very simple build. It's not too much to talk about this thing. Can it fit him inside? Actually, it can. No, oh no, it can't. He has to kind of go sideways. Oh, Doraemon, your head is way too big, man. I can't fit you in there. So the figure, for this kind won't fit in there, even if I get him in here. No, I have Nobita somewhere. I don't know where he is, but I can't find him right now. But will a regular figure fit in this thing? Let's pull out a regular figure. Pull this guy out. Here, this is a 
standard figure. There, it yeah, fits just fine. So one figure can fit in there. Whee! And I think there's a little area back here. Chris, I'm going to destroy your set. So it looks like you can actually fit one more person on the back. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, a second figure cannot fit in the back because the arms are blocking. If you take the arms off, it might be able to fit. Or you know what, right? You know what? I bet you I can fit a little doggy back there. Yeah. Doggy, can you fit in there? I'll make the dog fit in there. There, I'm make, making him fit right now. There, shove him in. Oh no, I'm break, Chris, I'm breaking your car apart now. No guys, doggy won't fit in there, sorry. I tried, I tried. One figure fits in fine. It'd have to be an accessory that fits in the back. Doggy can't fit in there. Move those guys out of the way. But, you know, I guess if you're into the speed champion cars, maybe this will go in your collection. But yes, very nice prints. I love the one on the front there. The door handle is nice and big. Unfortunately, the door doesn't open. Even the trunk doesn't open. But yay for Prince. There we go. That's the car, you guys. What's next? <laughs> so now we're looking at key plays. Uh, it's like a truck, bus, bus. Okay, let's just call this a bus. Doriamont's bus, K20407. Again, no idea how many pieces it is. You guys take a wild guess. Maybe I'll do a piece count later for you. This is a box, same size as this box as you saw. Flip it around here to the back. You can see the back there. Looks just fine. And in case you don't believe me, it says right there, Fujiko Pro licensed by Animation International, which is Doraemon, okay? So it's licensed. And if you're a big anime fan, if you like Evangelion, the Ava series, they have the robots. You guys want me to do the robots? Let me know, yeah? Just comment, let me know if you want me to do that. We saw this one already. Okay, the bus. Oh, the bus. This took me really fast to build. Chris was like amazed. You know, my ears ring from tinnitus, so when I build, I build really fast. I don't even need to really, it's all touch and feel now. But here's the bus. And again, just like the car, rolls great. And no stickers again. It's all prints right there on the front. I love that. It's like half his face there. The side here is a print, Doraemon. The windows are printed pieces as well. And you actually get a little bit of spares. Chris is like, am I supposed to use these parts? Chris, I sure hope you're not missing the pieces on that one. But this one had spares. And the TV that you'll see next also has spares. Same deal, you cannot open the doors, but I, I do like the prints. That sold me on it. Even the back here is a stop. Oh, this has to be a school bus because it's got the stop sign back there. Now it's obvious. The top can come off just like that. So even though it is plain, I like how the bus is flushed out on the inside. Now one steering wheel, one chair, that's it. And you can definitely fit a little bit more characters in here. Can we put Doraemon inside? For sure, he will fit. I can't get him on the seat though. You might want to pull the seat out first to get him in. Think. Oh shit, look at that. Yeah, that one isn't supposed to happen, man. Oh, you know what? It might be even easier to go like that. There you go, all right. There. Now he fits just fine. So don't push down too hard. The car will, the bus will collapse. Good to know, good to know, it's not perfect. Oh, it's easier to get the character in that way. And then you can probably put one more figure here. We got to put the girl there standing. Put one more guy behind her. I got three minifigures total inside this school bus. All right, simple, easy to build, fun for your car collection. It's cute, playable for sure. So now it's time to look at the last, the best looking set of all three of these. Last but not least is Keyplay. They don't name these sets, by the way. I'm just making this up. Doraemon's TV set, K20408. No idea how many pieces again. Keyplay, we need a piece count on these things. Now this box is certainly much bigger compared to the set itself. I bet you it could have probably all fit in here. Seriously, didn't have to be this big, but here you guys go. My jacked up box here. I kind of got excited and ripped this thing apart. But you know, I like I like the color tone, you know? The whole thing is it's very inviting, very kitty like There's Doraemon on the top of the box. And here are the, the features. If you're thinking like, oh, this is going to be like the NES or the Famicom TV one. If you didn't see my review, go watch that. That was a lot of fun. And, you know, maybe now I can do the Famicom one because that has been discontinued. They're not making that set anymore and I won't feel so bad reviewing it. And just so you know, the manual is the same size as all the other ones. That's why I could have been collapsed down into a much smaller box. There you go. 
very easy to read again. All right, this thing is so tiny, it's like a little baby. You know, if I compare it to the Lego one, thanks for Chris for pulling this out for me. It's and been archived. If you haven't watched that review, go watch it. It's amazing. Look at the size difference. The Mario one, does this one still run? Or oh, it feels a little bit tight here. Yeah, it's kind of running. Do you remember the Mario one? Moves like that, it's getting a little bit tight. Needs to be loosened up a little bit. But this is like a little baby. Or if you wanted to see the Famicom one, uh, everyone's asking me, please review this one. This one, super cool, man. Cause it's Contra, yo. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, man, these things are getting dusty. Look at all those TV screens. This one has been discontinued. It's not for sale anymore. So the designer got his wish. Now this is actually a really good alternative if you want your kids to like build something like this, but you don't want it to be that because this is more like adult theme and it's quite complex. This is as simple as it gets. And the pictures can be a little bit misleading because there's like, whoa, look at this. This, this does this, this does this. It cranks and only cranks the background. The characters don't move at all. You can crank it both ways. It's really easy to build on the inside. It actually does have a very cool feature. There is a brick, not a brick light. It's a brick speaker that uses batteries. And if we push the button. I wonder if I'll get copyright strike for the song. Yeah, how cool is that? So you can keep pushing that button and irritate everyone in your family. You know, I was really hoping Doraemon would move and Dorami, the girl, would move, but they're stationary. You can angle them. I was just expecting a little bit more craziness to happen with the set, and I wasn't expecting it to be this small. For once, I was like, oh, I built this thing in less than an hour. Yeah, definitely more for kids, but it's still really cute. It's so colorful. Even Chris, Chris wants to get one. He's like, I want one right now. Everyone's like, I want, I need this thing right now. I absolutely love the colors. The birds that they have inside, they actually look really good. And the figures. Okay, so if I take the figure out, it's on a stud. It will be compatible with your standard brick stud. It's the same as this figure from the older review. But the top here, he actually has a little, the flying thingy, like the hat thing, right? He doesn't have it on the old one. So just so you know. Oh, I love the design, man. Just like the older one, totally fine. Printing looks really, really good. I love the propeller on top. And this is my first time to see Dorami. She looks great. I like the yellow, her eyes. Just looks just like the cartoon, her little bow. Very cool. Ah, uh, while we're at it, let's just look at these little birds. Yeah, I like the printing on them. These aren't st standard looking birds. I don't think we've seen these before. Oh yes, I need to show you guys the new pieces. I think they are new. I've never seen these before. So this piece right here used to be like cut off sharp but it's a rounded off edge. And also this other piece in the television. I'm like, ooh, new pieces. They may be trying to avoid copyright, which is good. Kudos for them for trying. At least they're doing different pieces now. It's all prints here, the buttons. They do kind of turn a little bit, which is kind of a nice effect. The antennas are a cute idea. Let's see if I can just take off this top. You know, it might kind of, yeah, let's see. Oh, destroy it on the way out, it's so small. So I can pop this thing off here, pop this part off here. So it's basically that, but a much smaller scale, very easy to put together. It's not a complex thing. There's also a cardboard cloud down there. I guess that kind of hides the ugliness there. But this piece, the sheet is actually kind of like a hard plastic material. And yeah, you gotta kind of push it in there and it looks a little bit ugly with the punched holes. And underneath they use four pieces here. That's to give you enough height to turn the crank while it's on the floor. That's pretty simple stuff. Yeah, there you go. Boom. All right, it's dimension times. Break out your 32 by 32 base plates. Put this down here, slide this out of the way. We're starting to order that we shot this thing, put the car wherever randomly, doesn't matter. I've already pre-measured this thing. So it is kind of like eight studs. It's 7.5 to eight studs this way. This way is by 16. Then we break out your one by four bricks, stack it up here. The car itself is like roughly around six bricks in height because of the antenna there or the little propeller. It's around eight. Yeah, it's more or less there. Woo, there you go, that's the car. Boom, bus, eight, 7.58 by 16. 
and the height. Stack your bricks right there. It is around seven bricks. Oh, close. Yeah, it's around seven bricks in height right there. Oh, just touch this right there. Wee, wee. There you go. That is the boss. What about the TV? Oh, can, can, can mount, look at that. Woo. Okay, so the TV is 18 by 10. It's, it's, it's somewhere close to that anyway. So break out your one by four bricks for the height for the TV. I put the antenna straight up. We'll just do the highest point there. So anything lower, you know, you can probably adjust the antenna to make it lower. So that is around 20 bricks in height. With no antenna, it's, it's, it's like around 12. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, there you go. That's your dimensions. Now for the scary part. If you've watched this far, it is now time for me to drop these bad boys since I'm finished with the video. If you don't like me dropping sets, skip ahead. If you like me dropping sets and you wanna see these things break, here we go. Look, the TV still works. You know, it's a little bit loose here on the bricks. Doryman fell out with one bird, the two antennas. Not too bad, not too shabby. The bus still intact, just the back three pieces came off with a bumper. Oh, but the worst one was the car. It just completely went kabam, man. But it looks like it's pretty big, chunky pieces. So it should be pretty easy to put all back together. Just like so. So there you guys go, cute little set. I love it. I think it's cool. It's up to you, it's available on the store. Or if you can, buy it wherever you can. I encourage you guys to go find it wherever you like to find it from. Of course, if you buy it from me, you know, I'll throw in a little goodies for you. You guys could use some minifigures with these things. All right. So until next time, you guys, break me out. Here's my 32 by 32. Oh. Doraemon, what are you doing? Why are you chasing me? I'm gonna come after you, girl. Come on, let's go out. Chris, let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry.